Hi, I'd like to show you our new stainless steel flagpoles. Now we offer these in a variety of sizes from lengths of 18 inches up to 48 inches made of 304 stainless. Now they come complete with a cast stainless finial, flag clips, and an angled top mount base. Now each of the poles also comes complete with all the mounting hardware necessary, all stainless fasteners, and the larger poles come complete with a real heavy duty stainless washer to help support the gunnel given the weight of such a substantial piece. Now the boat we're using today has already had one of these flagpole mounts installed, but I'll walk you through that process nevertheless. First thing you gotta do is choose the spot on your boat where you're gonna mount this. Now, 18s, 24s, and 30 inch poles are gonna just go with a surface mount, so you don't have to be concerned with what's underneath the gunnel. When you get into the longer length poles, the 36 and the 48 inch ones, you want to mount it in a spot where you have access up underneath the gunnel because you have a substantial washer that you're going to have to bolt all the way through. So once you've established where on the boat you're going to mount the base, the idea is to put it in place, mark the three mounting holes with a pen or marker, and then with a 1 8 inch drill bit, an electric drill, drill through those pre-marked holes. Now a word of advice on drilling through fiberglass. You want to drill very straight and very slow until you get through that top surface of the gel coat. And once your holes are drilled, it's a good idea to take up maybe a Phillips head bit and just chamfer the top edge of those holes a little bit. It'll stop those little spiderweb cracks from occurring. Hey, with the holes in place, it's a simple matter of mounting the base. Word of caution, make sure you angle your staff towards the stern of the boat. Never forget to do that. And then it's a simple matter of installing the three stainless steel number 10 screws through the base and into the mounting holes that you've drilled. Now remember, on the larger stainless steel flag poles, you're going to put this washer up underneath the gunnel of the boat, and instead of top mount, you're going to drill and bolt all the way through. Okay, for our 23 foot boat, we've chosen the 24 inch flag pole. Now to go with it, doesn't come with the flagpole, but available separately at all of our retail and distributor customers. We've chosen the 16 inch by 24 inch American flag. This is a high-end flagpole, deserves a high-end sewn flag with embroidered stars. So now it's a simple matter of installing the flag onto the flag clips on your flagpole. Okay, we're going to remove the screws from the flag clips align the grommet and the flag with the ends of the clips. Install the screw back in. Okay, you want to make sure that both of the flag clips are aligned. And then tighten down with a slotted screwdriver to finish the installation. Okay, with the flag installed in the clips, slide the pole fully down into the base, orient the flag towards the stern, and secure with the thumb screw at the base. Hey, when you're done, it's a simple matter of loosening the thumb screw, remove the flag. Now remember, you never want to store the flag wet, so make sure it's good and dry before you put it away for prolonged storage. Hi, I'd like to show you our new pontoon flag poles kit. Now, this is one unit that you can buy that includes the flag staff, now it's offered in two lengths, 24 inches and 30 inches. It's a bright dipped anodized aluminum tube. Comes complete with molded finial, our patented Charlevoix flag clips, an injection molded base. Now the base is one inch wide, designed to mount onto the, the top of the uh, rails on a pontoon boat, hence the, hence the term. However, these things can be mounted anywhere. Anywhere you have a flat enough surface, uh, whether it's a pontoon boat or whether it's a V-Hall runabout, aluminum, fiberglass, doesn't really matter. Any place where you have a one inch flat enough surface to mount it, you can use this flagpole socket. Now, in addition to the pole in the base and the flag clips, it also comes complete with our deluxe sewn US flags. The 24 inch flagpole comes with a 12 by 18 flag the 30 inch pole comes with a 16 by 24. Okay, this base is mounted using self-tapping screws. 
So there's really no need to even drill mounting holes. So the idea is once you've found your location, with a drill and a Phillips head bit, you can mount those right into your boat. Okay, secure the flag to the Charlevoix flag clips through the grommets. Tighten to secure. And then the base of the pole has snap buttons in it. So it's a simple matter of pushing the buttons in and the pole snaps right into your base. To remove, simply squeeze the buttons and out it comes.